In a world where health is the ultimate wealth, there's a silent guardian tirelessly working behind the scenes of our well-being. Today, on World Kidney Day, we journey across the globe to shed light on these unsung heroes of our bodies, our kidneys. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tapas Kumar Saho, General Secretary of the Nephrocritical Care Society. Hi, my name is Claudio Ronco, I am Director of the International Renal Research Institute in Vicenza and Professor at the University of Padova in Italy. Dear colleagues, as the President of Indian Society of Critical Care Medicine, I stand before you on World Kidney Day. Dear friends, I am Dr. Rajekar Chakravarti, Clinical Director, Nephrology and Transplant Services, Yashoda Hospital, Hitech City, Hyderabad. Hello everyone, wherever you are, welcome to World Kidney Day, today, March 14, 2024. Hello friends, this is Dr. Srinivas Samavedam. I'm the President-Elect of the Indian Society of Critical Care Medicine. Hello everyone, myself uh, Ramanathan. I work as a cardiac intensivist at the National University Hospital, Singapore. Hello friends, my name is Sanan Das. I work as an intensive care specialist at the Townsville Hospital in Queensland, Australia. In India, millions grapple with kidney diseases, unaware or unable to access the care they need. The challenge is monumental, but not insurmountable. Today, on March 14, I'm honored to join forces with my esteemed colleagues worldwide to mark World Kidney Day, a vital occasion that is dedicated to the kidney health. Today we unite not just as professionals but as advocates for the kidney health driven by our shared commitment to advance care, research and awareness. We all know kidneys are the unsung heroes of our body, yet surprisingly kidney diseases remain a silent epidemic affecting millions worldwide. Our message is clear and urgent that treatment is required that is necessary but before that prevention is also possible and together we all can save many lives through compassion and collaboration we are here to dedicate not only to improve the patient outcomes but also to empower individual and communities with the knowledge to protect their kidney health now let's join today to make kidney health a priority for all and thank you all for your unwavering support for Nephrocritical Care Society and let's make a lasting impact not just today but every day. Thank you. I am really pleased to see so many activities from the Nephrocritical Care Society in India and I really hope to have uh, a bunch of uh, colleagues from India to join us in Vicenza, Italy for the uh, Vicenza course on Critical Care Nephrology, ECHOS and CRRT. So you're all invited to join and uh, I'm really pleased to share with you guys uh, the enthusiasm for the multidisciplinary approach to critical care nephrology and for all possible techniques uh, to support kidney and other organ function. Thank you very much uh, for inviting me to talk for this society and hopefully we will do a great collaboration in the future. To emphasize the importance of kidney's health and our critical care practice, our role in early detection and management of kidney disease, especially acute kidney injury in critical ill patient is paramount. Let us commit to, in, to advancing our knowledge, improving patient care protocols and fostering research in nephrology within critical care setting. Together we can make a significant impact on patient outcomes and remember every action counts in our fight against kidney disease. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. This year, 14th March, which is a Thursday, happens to be the World Kidney Day. It is a day when each one of us have to rededicate ourselves to preventing kidney disease in our country. Among the non-communicable diseases, kidney disease today is a major concern for everybody in the country 
both young and old the present understanding is that 17% of our population has chronic kidney disease awareness of kidney disease and the knowledge that it is a huge burden in our community is extremely important as a first step once we know the burden of the disease we have to identify people who have kidney disease early this enables us to prevent progression of kidney disease from one stage to another stage one of the important things for us doctors who are working in the icus is all acute kidney disease that we see is going to become chronic kidney disease tomorrow when you pick up acute kidney injury when you start treating acute kidney injury in the icu and how you manage acute kidney injury in the icu is going to dictate the burden of ckd in the community this is extremely clear now whatever we do to mitigate aki will help reduce the ckd burden in the community thank you very much and we do need to break some bad habits now and then look at this patient with abdominal sepsis coming into the icu getting a bag of saline because of a drop in blood pressure drop in urine output the drop in cvp at the end of the day the patient may have received five liters of saline why because it's just a reflex whenever something goes wrong we give some fluids on day two we see an increase in serum creatinine and on day four further increase drop in urine output and the patient is on put on cvvh and then by day seven there is sudden cardiac arrest because of mesenteric ischemia and abdominal compartment syndrome because abdominal pressure kills but the question is did you measure abdominal pressure and are you aware that increased intra-abdominal pressure can cause aki so did you do everything to prevent aki in your patient urine output and intra-abdominal pressure are the sixth and the seventh vital sign. Think about that and join the Abdominal Compartment Society. Enjoy World Kidney Day. The world observes World Kidney Day on the 14th of March every year. The health of the kidney determines the health of the individual and this fact is probably more relevant in an intensive care unit than anywhere else in a hospitalized environment. Acute kidney injury is one of the more frequent organ dysfunctions that we as intensivists handle in while managing a patient with critical illness. The onset of AKI and its duration have, the, have an impact on the ultimate outcome of patients in the intensive care unit. An episode of AKI while at admission into the ICU or acquired during the course of stay in the intensive care unit is a determinant of future risk of chronic kidney disease. Therefore, it is probably no longer acute kidney injury we will talk about, but acute kidney disease. The availability of imaging techniques like VEXAS and biomarkers probably will help us in identifying the structural damage to the kidney and its components much earlier than when the functional markers become deranged. That will be the next paradigm shift in the management of acute kidney injury. In the era of phenotypes, we have begun to identify several phenotypes of injury where of kidney injury where cardiac, pulmonary and neurological dysfunction are integral parts of different phenotypes of acute kidney injury. In the era of data science and machine learning and therefore the development of artificial intelligence algorithms, the recognition of the sub phenotypes and the clinically different variants of acute kidney injury might change and we might be better off in the future with the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence. So let's join hands with all our colleagues across specialities in improving the quality of care we offer to patients with acute kidney injury. Thank you very much. At the outset, our happy World Kidney Day and uh, it's been great uh, getting associated with the Nephrocritical Care Society. The society has grown by leaps and bounds with a bunch of enthusiastic leaders as well as followers uh, who have been very clear cut about what they want to achieve. So the nuances of management of patients who are critically ill and have acute kidney injury or multi-organ failure has definitely 
taken new dimensions um, and and these aspects are the current focus of the society and it gives me great pleasure uh, to congratulate the society members on what they have achieved so far and i wish them all the best for more landmarks in future thank you i am a fellow of the college of intensive care medicine in australia and a very avid supporter of the critical care nephrology campaign i extend warm wishes to the whole medical fraternity on the world kidney day we know recognizing kidney health has a pivotal role in the management of critically ill patients we at the nephro critical care society affirm its significance the nephro critical care society pledges to enhance kidney care and ensure uniformity in the knowledge and standard of care together we aim to pioneer research in the field of critical care nephrology which will open new avenues and advancement to optimize our management Let's unite in our commitment to safeguarding kidney health and optimizing the patient outcomes. I once again congratulate all of you and wish you a happy World Kidney Day. Thank you.